Hello everybody, Looney Farm Guy here with a, a tutorial, a precision farming tutorial for Farming Simulator 22. This should be applicable to all platforms, however I am on PS5 on console now. In this video we will be um, showing um, how to and if <laughs> the crop sensors work how they work so we have two kinds of crop sensors now in farming simulator 22 for precision farming now these will only be appear when you have precision farming mod and uh, you will they will only be operable or show up when you have the precision farming mod activated now first of all uh, not there <laughs> Uh, first of all, the um, <clears throat> the attachable um, crop sensor, as you may have seen it and wonder what it's all about. Now, here it is, the Proactive Precision Farming. It is a crop sensor that you can attach uh, to a three-point link on the front of your vehicle. Configuration standard, or you can have it with a weight. Several different kinds of weights, actually. So it, it uh, serves double purpose or double duty, as it were. <clears throat> now, uh, without the weight, it's $23,900. And as you can see, you would just attach it to the front of your vehicle, and um, <clears throat> and it works there. Now, the other way to have crop sensors is uh, some of the um, some of the vehicles, some of the tractors uh, now offer uh, the crop sensor as a addition to a vehicle now the best example of that is the one well one of the the best examples is basically most of the giants uh, base game tractors now have this Assyria Pro compact yes or no fourteen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars it will cost you and you can have it there it's on this one so anywhere you see this that is what it is. You can equip these tractors with the uh, Seria Pro Compact. And so <clears throat> I will read the description and then I will decipher, we decode it. The Seria Pro Compact detects the real nitrogen demand of your crops. While driving with this sensor over your field, you'll get more a well, you'll get more precise information of the nitrogen that is required. With this information, the fertilization will be more accurate and results in a higher yield. Compared to the Isaria Pro Active, this sensor can only be used at daytime. So if you have it installed on your tractor, it is only during daylight hours that it can be used. And so apparently the other one can be used day or night, according to that um, description. If we go back and look, uh, there wasn't really a description on the sensor of anything. Re yeah, it just says... Uh, crop sensor will measure the real nitrogen uptake of the crop to apply more precise fertilizer rates. And that's all the information you get on this particular one. However, they do do the same thing. Now, in order for these, either one of these to work, in addition to being during the daytime, which we will test or we will show you during the daytime, in order for the sensor to work, you it has to have some growth. <clears throat> there has to be um, a, at least the first stage of growth for the sensor to detect um, the plant what it needs. So if you're trying it to do it right after you plant and there's no growth yet, it <clears throat> it's not going to be effective. Now if we look at our overhead here, I have uh, I have uh, pre-fertilized one strip already um, after seeding, and that is with precision farming. I have I have done uh, the soil sampling, soil information, so we have that here, right? So with precision farming, and if you just uh, fertilize it, it, it will be fairly accurate. 
pretty close to ideal. And if we're looking at it here, of course, it's bad or over here. And if we go over here where I have fertilized it after planting the seeds, so I planted the field and then I went over it with liquid fertilizer, it says nitrogen perfect, 200 kilograms. Great, excellent, awesome. Um, so why do I need the crop sensor? It says it's perfect. All right, so um, let us uh, do a, fall, a small demonstration here. I'm going to drop the sensor off first. I'm going to drop it over here so we will have no sensor and we will um, we are going to um, spray liquid fertilizer on this field like so and as you see at the top it is applying a, a precise amount of fertilizer for specific for wheat on this type of soil as it should and uh, it will it will do it uh, precisely at that uh, rate that you see in the top left corner and as we go down to the end we'll just set a worker if the worker does it even even the it's, it's just the same um, it's going to apply perfectly the correct amount now again you ask you may ask so what's the point of the crop sensor if you are already applying the um, the correct amount of fertilizer uh, for this crop in this soil after you have taken the uh, soil sample? That is an excellent question of which I asked myself that question many times. Now, um, we'll let him finish here. So there, he is done that strip. So now we see as I showed you before, now if we go look at it, nitrogen, perfect. It's perfect. Why do I need more? Well, of course, this is bad over here because we didn't put any on. All right, so um, the uh, I, I gained some uh, invaluable, invaluable, very valuable. It's an odd word, invaluable, but I've gained some extremely valuable information by watching a video by um, a friend of the channel, Disturbed Simulations. He's also a modder that has um, released several mods on the Mod Hub. And he did an excellent video of which I could not do better about showing how using uh, the crop sensor will actually increase your yield at harvest. Now I'm going to link that video uh, in the description so make sure you go and check it out. It is an excellent test. He did a very thorough um, fantastic job on that test so I'm not going to do that again. All you need to know is that it does work and I will show you now exactly how that does work. So aside from doing it during the day there are two very important things that you need to know when using a crop sensor for fertilizing your crop. Um, one thing is the crop needs to have sprouted. So you have to have green, you have, you have to have it in one of the uh, stages of growth before harvest if it turns yellow in, in here. So if we go to crop types, growth, if it turns yellow like this, it, you're not going to do anything. It's already ready for harvest. It's not growing anymore. You need it. To, you need it needs to be within the green stage. Even even this, I've tested some over here, and it does work over here on this uh, last stage of growth. So the other thing you need to know is you must turn it on. <laughs> so let's go get our helper window on. And this can be um, somewhat confusing with precision farming because there's a lot of stuff going on here. And you have to make sure that you turn on, um, turn it on. So aside from your sprayer um, turning on and activating and all that sort of thing, you have to turn on the sensors. Now this, of course, 
this one the sensors are built into the tractor and it's a little bit different than the one that you hook up so we'll we'll look at the one uh, that is built in so what you need to do is R1 and uh, R1 and L1 and if you notice the square is turn on crop sensor now even if you have either one if you have the the sprayer highlighted or the tractor highlighted you need to do that now it is on right it is active it is going to start sensing the uh, nitrogen in the, the the leaves of the crop now what we want to do is highlight our sprayer uh, L1 and turn on the sprayer and as we drive forward notice notice that we're applying a very small amount of fertilizer sometimes five kilograms per hectare sometimes 10 kilograms per hectare but it is adding just a very small amount and actually there's some spots where we've actually applied too much fertilizer and if i if i hire a worker the worker does the same thing so the sensor is uh reading the crop and applying a very small amount of additional fertilizer to the crop to reach its maximum mm, uh, the the maximum a uh, perfect amount shall we say <laughs> even more perfect amount of fertilizer uh, i know that's a little bit strange or maybe it sounds a bit strange however because of the tests uh, done by uh, um, disturbed simulations um, I know it works because uh, he he put he did it right through to harvest, and so if we uh, as he comes over here, we're going to see that it is also doing that here. Right. So, how about the one with the attached? Uh, crop sensor right okay so same thing we have to have the crop sensor highlighted and um, there are a few extra options because it's an attachment you can uh, lower it whoops uh, there we go you can lower it or raise it I don't think it matters being lowered or raised however you will need to unfold it so L1 and X does it have extra no it doesn't have extra lights so this one uh, apparently it doesn't need extra lights now as you remember we just we just fertilized this right now without the sensor on <clears throat> l1 and r1 again and turn on crop sensor now if it's attached if it's an attachment you see it's turned blue so that's how you know it's on uh, as opposed to the one that's part of the integrated into the tractor so now we turn on our now we turn on our uh, fertilizer sprayer and again as you can see I'll hire a worker oh worker does not oh because we sprayed it already <clears throat> however I guess you'll have to do it manually hmm that's a bit of a downside <clears throat> I guess because we've already sprayed it, but still, as you can see, some of it uh, is not taking any. Hmm. That's curious. There we go. A little bit here. Oh, it's putting a lot on. No, no, is it? putting quite a bit on here for some reason there we go well it looks like <clears throat> if you put it on after it's grown there we go we're, we're, we're touching a little bit of the uh, the outside there so <clears throat> this is a little bit curious uh, I'm glad I did this because <clears throat> it seems that um, 
when we sprayed it after it's grown, even without the crop sensor, it actually put on a more accurate, um, a more accurate um, application of fertilizer. Uh, if you seed with fertilizer and you put it in the in the soil, or you or you fertilize right after planting, it's less accurate. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Learn something new every day. All right. So if we go, why is he acting weird? Oh, that's weird. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. So now if we go over, let's just try that again. <clears throat> Let's drop the sensor. Turn on the sprayer. And try that little strip again with the sensor. <clears throat> I want to make sure that the sensor is on. And kind of line up better. <laughs> oh, line up over here. Yeah, the other thing is, I notice I'm only driving 11 miles an hour. If you have that sensor on, it's going to restrict you to 11 miles per hour, whether you're spraying anything or not. All right, okay, well, let's see if we can line up here without touching too much of the other. All right, we are good to go. All right, so there we go. So we're adding a little bit here. So it's it's still, yeah, okay. So <laughs> it still helps if you're, um, and then we'll hire a worker. This, this, this area has been obviously fertilized. Yeah, so there you go. So it still helps fine tune the uh, fertilizer application if you're using the crop sensor only after the crop has sprouted. And there you have it. And what that will result in is an actual increase in crop yield by mm, mm, a, a noticeable amount. <clears throat> it wasn't... Um, I say you'll. Uh, I'll link that video to Disturb Simulations test for yield because, um, as I said, um, he did it. Uh, he did a fantastic job at it. <clears throat> but what I wanted to do here was kind of explain what actually <clears throat> the sensors did and and if they actually work because that was something I had wondered myself but uh, so now you know uh, w what it does how it does it and um, if you uh, go ahead and watch that uh, video <clears throat> uh, you know uh, you know you will you will understand the results of doing that uh, extra bit so in conclusion this will give you the opportunity to decide whether you want to fertilize while seeding and then go over it again with a crop sensor once it's sprouted or <clears throat> you can just go ahead seed your your crop wait for the first stage to come up and then uh, <clears throat> and then hit it with the sensor uh, hit it with the uh, sensor activated and spraying uh, one time and it will put on exactly the right amount once um, once the plants have sprouted. So there's the two options uh, you can use, uh, or you can decide whether or not 
you want to bother with the crop sensors, maybe maybe it's not even something you want to bother with because um, uh, doing uh, with the soil sampling and the precision farming, it will <clears throat> it will put uh, uh, very close to the correct amount of fertilizer. Anyways, I've talked enough. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave a uh, a question or comment. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.